Hey, what's going on, guys? DJS here. I wanted to bring you guys a random deals video. This is from Ross and Nordstrom Rack at the last half. Check this out 50 bucks for some Obsidian uh, Jordan 12s. But the size of these things are ridiculous. The size was, I think, a size 17 or something like that. And this is the only one they had 16, my wife says. And they only had one of them in stock. Pretty ridiculous. They had some Kobe's, as you can see right here. Uh, they actually had quite a few different ones of these. Um, price wasn't too, too crazy, but. I never remember seeing these hit retail, so maybe that's why uh, it's out there. But uh, you can see they were 60 bucks, And I'm going to keep going down. Uh, these ones are just some random, I believe, Adidas, and they were $28. Um, I don't know, not bad price. For 28 bucks, dude, that's a pretty pretty uh, cheap price. Um, I don't know if these are a signature model or not, uh, but those ones are there. They did have some signature model ones uh, there as well. Uh, just some random shoes. These ones are 17 bucks. These are... Uh, track and field shoes. Sometimes it's good if you are in track. I actually did track in high school. It's kind of fun to, to see that they have some sort of things like that uh, in there for a cheap price. Uh, some random Adidas here. $24 for these ones. Uh, nothing fancy, but uh, if you guys like just some some blue Adidas, uh, those ones are there. Uh, these ones look like kind of Nike Vandals uh, with a strap, but check out the, the print around the, the collar. It's kind of like a snakeskin sort of print. Those ones are 40 bucks. And again, these ones are all at Ross from the beginning here. Uh, not a bad sneaker. I mean, if you it, just no hype, you know. Just if you like a red sneaker with a uh, black look looking snake uh, skin, it's not a bad price. They had these uh, eight uh, V twos or whatever they were called. And they covered different colorways. This one's kind of like that Carolina blue or whatever. Um, although they can't again call it Carolina blue. Those ones were fifty bucks. And moving on, the some random Adidas. I don't know what these ones were. I've never seen anything like these. Uh, but they look kind of cool. Actually, it says they're the Glide 4s, and these ones are $55. They look a little bit fancy. Look, 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 look there's a little bit of tech to them, uh, but uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, I'm not a runner, so I wouldn't. Uh, these are some, let's see, soccer shoes, $21. Some Puma soccer shoes. I don't know if Puma makes decent soccer shoes or not, but I don't know, man, 21 bucks, Not a bad price if you need them. These things, I, no, I've never noticed these. I thought these were the Flight 45s with the air po pocket on the bottom. I've never, I don't remember seeing a full air unit on a pair of Jordans before like that. Uh, but anyway, these ones were there in this uh, yellow colorway. And it says flat on the tongue. I don't even know which Jordans these ones were, but uh, these ones are $50 there. They had them in a couple different sizes. These ones are the added peers, I believe. Or, no, no, these are the, that, yeah, the Dwight Howards. And these ones were like $28. So if you're a Dwight Howard fan, I mean, that's not a bad price. They had them, I think those were a size 10. Uh, from the ones I picked up. And these things are always floating out there. I don't know. It's crazy. Like, look at the traction on the soles. Definitely a, a very expensive shoe for the price. Um, 50 bucks, man, for a pair of, of AJ 2012s. Uh, I, I don't know, man. That's just crazy. Definitely a good pickup if, if you wanted to ball in them, for sure. These, now this is starting to cross over to Nordstrom Rack. Uh, those ones were crazy. I, I only took one picture of them. But they were, uh, or maybe I took more. I do, maybe they're out of order. I don't know. Uh, Oregon State kind of colorways, though. Kind of neat. For a soccer shoe, uh, just random shoes. These New Balances look looked actually pretty nice for 55 bucks. Um, they actually, I never even realized that um, Nordstrom Rack had New Balance, but that's because I never really opened my eyes to New Balance before uh, recent times. Check out these Under Armors though. Uh, I don't know if I've never seen these ones either. I think they're called the Spines or something like that. 65 bucks. They had a whole bunch of these in a bunch of different colorways. Uh, some random uh, Nikes. These were not SBs, just random Nikes. 60 bucks. Not a bad uh, looking shoe in my opinion. I mean, if you like, if I was a skater, I, I mean, those are an option. Um, Sacconis or Saucony, I don't know how you ever say the name. I don't know if you guys remember the Jazzes, but I remember the, the the Jazz model. This is like their iconic model, and they had one in this crazy bright orange, and you can see it says Jazz on the tongue. Uh, 30 bucks, man, pretty cheap. Dude, is, uh, <laughs> look no further. They have male Ugg boots. I just wanted to show you guys these things. I was like, what are they doing here? 150 bucks for male Ugg boots. I'm going to pass on that. Uh, leave it for the next person. Uh, they did have some camo Toms there as well. Check these guys out. Uh, 50 bucks. Uh, I mean, if you support the cause of what Toms do, uh, it's it's probably a cool shoe to buy. But I don't know how that works if you buy it from a third-party place um, like Nordstrom Rack. But anyway, these were some Cole Hans, Just crazy green Cole Hans, 110 bucks. Pretty wild. And then these, these are some more Asics. Um, I don't even know how to say that name on the tongue, but... They look kind of cool, man. The 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 blue suede on this thing is, or the new buck or whatever material. I don't know what the technical name. It looks like suede. Uh, looked pretty nice. 
but this, this, those are some tigers. And we have some more um, Cole Hans. They had a whole bunch of these ones. These ones actually look pretty fancy. Um, if they had them for super cheap, I would buy them. But 130 bucks, I was like, nah, don't think so. Not today. Um, more random Jordans here. I think these are the arrows or something like that. Uh, interesting color with the laces and, and the orange on the tongue. Kind of made it stand out a little bit. But 70 bucks for those ones. And these Asics, I don't know the name of, but these ones look like running shoes. I think my wife got a pair that looks similar to these. Uh, those are $89. Uh, look pretty wild, and I hear the Asics are actually really good for running. Um, these ones actually are pretty cool. Some New Balances with uh, that dark brown uh, suede on them, and these ones are their 565s five, and kind of have that um, navy and, and orange colorway. And some more of those spine-looking shoes or whatever from Under Armour. Uh, and these are the Jordans again for 70 bucks here. Uh, it's kind of like the same exact ones at, at Ross, I think, with over 50 at Ross. These I actually almost walked out of the store with. Um, the John uh, Varvados or whatever. 90 bucks though, was kind of steep, but the All-Star Lowe's with the leather, man, they're really, really clean-looking sneaker and really, really high-quality leather on these. Uh, almost walked out, but they're just too pricey. Look at these, though. These ones were the biggest eyesore of the entire day. Red, crushed red velvet uh, Cole Hans. Are you joking me? Like, just straight-up player pimp status. Those things are ridiculous. $70. I honestly almost bought those just for a gag. Uh, just ridiculous-looking sneaker. Um, or shoe, not sneaker. Uh, they had some Vans and kind of some crazy... It looks like almost an elephant print. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I always loved the Vans traction for the, for BMXers. I used to BMX when I was a kid, and I always loved that uh, traction on, on there. 30 bucks for those. And uh, just some random-looking random, random -looking sneakers. Here's some other ones right here. Some more New Balance. Um, these are, they said they're the 420s. Uh, the quality on these look pretty decent. I should have actually tried some of them on. The price is cheap, though. $42 is pretty good. And here's some more um, high-end uh, chucks. These ones are $80, and you can see the leather collar, collar on these actually look pretty nice. Uh, but all in all, they had a ton of just random stuff. Look at these things. Just horrendous, man. I uh, ended up with some uh, horrendous-looking polos, $26. Crazy, crazy ugly-looking things. Uh, and then the last one for the throwback for you... Older people with some air walks. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny to throw that one in here at the end. Uh, some Doc Martens. Anyway, hope you guys like this. Random uh, random deals, I guess, around the way. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Catch you guys later. Peace.